hi guys welcome to my youtube channel in today's video we will learn how to apply vlookup in excel using power automate desktop so please watch this video till then so that you can understand it completely and if you have not subscribed my youtube channel yet please subscribe it so let's get started today i'm going to work with the excel where i will show you how to apply vlookup right so this is my challenge.xlsx file which is already opened and here you can see that we have columns like first name last name company name role in company address email and phone number right so these are the columns and we want to apply a vlookup on this so that what i will do is i'll take the first name as you know as a column you know as a unique column and I'll insert another sheet and here I'll paste it and then what I want to do is I want to bring the last name on the sheet 3 right and that I want to do with the help of VLOOKUP and to do that what I will do is I will uh, to apply VLOOKUP in Excel we first press equals to and then type VLOOKUP and then take the value and then you have to go to the sheet one and specify the table array so because i want to bring table two sorry column two so i will take it till select the till the column two and specify the column number of which you want to take out the value so which is for me it is two and then i do not want to take the approximate match i want to take the exact match so i'll take the false and then close the bracket and press enter here you can see that it has dropped the value the moment i will click on it it will apply the formula on the all rows and what i'll do is i'll copy this selected data and then press alt e s v to paste a special so now the formula is gone and i have got all the last name in the sheet 3 right same thing we want to do with the help of power automate right So because my excel file is already open i'll take the attached to running excel and take the instance i'll select the file and then instance is excel instance 7 and now what i want to do is i want to you know set the active excel worksheet i will select the excel instance as 7 and i want to specify the sheet name as sheet 3 because this is where i want to apply the vlookup and then i want to you know write to excel worksheet so i'll take this excel instance 7 and then i will specify the column and the row and here i have to write the formula which is vlookup formula so i will go back to the excel and i will delete this column and then i will apply the formula again so that i can just copy paste that formula now i'll select this 
select the formula and then I'll go back to the power automate I will paste it here and then once I have written it what I will do is I'll copy this Excel instance 7 single cell B column B and row 2 then what I will do is I will take the first three row and column and then what I will do is I will select the cells choose Excel instance 7 range of cells so it is B 2 B and row 6 minus 1 right and then what I want to do is after selecting all the cells I want to paste the value so for that what I will do is I will take the control and here I'll send the V so it will just paste it so let's just do it now I will right click on it say run from here and let's see what happens let's do it again so while sending the keys I will while sending the keys I will choose the instance which is Excel instance 7 and then save now I will right click and say run from here and here you can see that it has been able to apply the VLOOKUP on column B right now I will go back to the power automate after this what I want to do is I want to copy all the cells of column B so now I'll say I want all the cells from a range and here I'll choose row 6 minus 1 because it is already selected so I'll copy all of it and then press ctrl V but this time I want to do the paste special so that I can take out the value not the formula so I will just go to the miscellaneous and select the you know I'll take the alt first and yet then I will paste E which is a shortcut key you know to take out the value from the formula so it is alt E and then S and then in curly bracket again V and once it is done I have to send the enter key so enter key you will get in the insert special keys and enter and then save right so now let's do it again I will click on run from here and this time you see that it has the value not uh, you know the formula right so this is how you can also you know apply the VLOOKUP on Excel using Power Automate desktop if you like this video please click on the like button and please subscribe my youtube channel and if you have any question please post it in the comment section thank you for watching have a great day